The 787 Dreamliner from Boeing is already a class apart from every other jet. It draws in fresh air directly from outside the aircraft, has dimmable windows so you can see the view below without disturbing sleepers, and a heads-up display for the pilots, and much, much more. So what happens when you take Boeing's most iconic jet and convert it into a private jet? The result is probably exactly what you're thinking right now. At a jaw-dropping $900 million, this is the only Boeing 787 Dreamliner private jet in the world. Usually a project as ambitious as this stops at drawings on paper and renderings, so it's pretty rare that this wide-body private jet got the chance to transform into what is essentially a flying mansion. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're looking at the only Boeing 787 787 Dreamliner private jet in the world. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload from us. The Dreamliner was built by Boeing to be a lower cost, higher range, long haul alternative to the super jets like Airbus A380 and the Boeing 747. It is also far better for the environment using 20% less fuel compared to other aircraft of the same size and features. As the need for such jets grew, Boeing made 970 of the 787 Dreamliner, and only one of them is available for private charter, this one. This insane jet took more than two years to complete with interior works carried out by the French aircraft interior designer Jacques Plergeon. While all the 787s can carry 240 to 335 passengers, the purpose of this one is a little different. You'll enter your jet and navigate this narrow passageway, probably the only interior feature shared with the commercial 787 jet besides the door. The 787 87 is stripped of everything it was previously and fully renovated to include market-leading tech innovations, but it has kept some of the more unique features like the dimmable windows, which you'll see as we take a tour of this plane. As you enter, you are greeted by the luxurious lobby, a dark wood-paneled corridor that leads you into the main lounge. This lounge can seat up to 16 passengers with its Lazy Boy armchairs, sofas, and beanbag. It's beautifully plush, cream leather seats, and comfortable chaise lounges. There are also not one, not two, but three widescreen TVs in here. This area also has its own lavatory. This is one of five on board. You'll also find two large dining tables in the lounge, big enough to room a sizable banquet prepared for you by the onboard gourmet chef. When it's time to wind down, the main lounge can accommodate six passengers for sleeping. Even if you're traveling in the lap of luxury, it doesn't guarantee a refreshing and easy flight. After all, you're thousands of feet up in the air cruising at a high speed. For that reason, the cabin altitude on the Dream liner is lowered to 6,000 feet, allowing for more humidity and less dehydration, which helps with the jet lag. And given the flight can fly for 17 hours with a range of 9,800 nautical miles without stopping, it's a much needed feature. You as the owner don't need to share the lounge when you want to sleep. No, you get the fully enclosed private master bedroom with a pleasing neutral color palette. It has a massive California king-size bed that actually gives Eddie Hads the residents a run for its money. There's also a 42-inch TV across from you, so if you don't like what your friends picked for movie night, you have your own retreat. Attached is the ensuite master washroom featuring a spacious shower room, heated marble floors, and a dual sink vanity for him and her. There's also a pretty large closet space and a dressing area. This room is bigger than what most hotels offer, and it's easy to forget you're on a plane. Even better, it's completely soundproof. The 13,000-pound engines just outside will barely make a sound in this cabin. In fact, the sound level here is a comfortable 40 four decibels, which is roughly the volume of a quiet suburban area. All around the jet, you'll see high ceilings, hardwood floors, and hand-tufted carpets with silk. The jet is owned by the China-based company HNA Group, which has quite a sizable stake in Hong Kong Airlines and Hainan Airlines. They even own 25% of Hilton. The jet was initially owned by Dell Technologies founder, Michael Dell. The plane is currently available for charter, and it has been hired by a number of VIPs, including some world leaders. Cambodian Prime Minister Mr. Hun Sen used the 787 Dreamliner to visit the UN headquarters, Brussels, Istanbul, and Geneva. It is also rumored that Congo's President Doni Sasso Ngeso flew from the capital city of Brazzaville to China. It's a given that if you're a VIP or a world leader, you've got security tailing you. And if that's the case, there are another 18 business class seats in the back of the plane, and they come with their own amenities. The seats fully recline into full flat beds, and there's plenty of leg room too. Further back is the galley, where all your gourmet 
buffet meals are prepared by the private chef. Another thing that adds to your comfort while traveling is the gust suppression system, which ensures your flight is less bumpy. Another feature on this plane that you can't see, but is certainly for you, is the heads-up display in the cockpit. It increases situational awareness for the pilots, ensuring your safety. An hour on board will cost you almost triple the fees of the three-room suite at Etihad. At $74,000 an hour, it might be wiser to just buy yourself a Range Rover in case you aren't a billionaire or a president. But chartering the jet also allows you to decide your own itinerary, gives you your own private space, and ensures you'll be waited on hand and foot by attentive staff. And if you just can't decide where you want to go first, they even provide you with dream journey itineraries. For example, you could fly the 787 from Hong Kong to Tahiti for a week's stay in the presidential suite of the St. Regis Bora Bora. Or you can go to Paris for four nights at the Waldorf Astoria's Trianon Palace Versailles, which includes some touristy activities and reservations at high-end restaurants. Yep, all this is included in the airfare, but we're still talking $74,000 an hour. Not sure if you'd get air miles or credit card points for chartering this jet, but it's worth asking. Recently, HNA has been trying to sell the plane for less than half of the original price, thanks to pressure from Beijing to sell off a majority of its portfolio. Their stake in overseas companies exceeds $50 billion. They haven't been able to yet, since selling private jets is a tricky business. Often, billionaires and leaders want their own custom fittings, and buying an already furnished jet requires paying to tear down the existing interiors to add new ones. The Boeing 787 typically costs $232 million, with the custom interiors running a tab of a few hundred million more. And let's not forget, they also have to account for how much it will cost you for maintenance and operations. That is also perhaps why they're selling it for just $300 million. As we've seen on this channel before, running a private jet does not come cheap. So what would you rather do? Spend $300 million to acquire your own jet at a third of the original cost or charter it for $74,000 an hour? Keep convenience and being the envy of your friends in mind when making that decision. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and check out more videos like this on the King Luxury channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.